Managing climate on a global basis means you've got to develop the technologies across all energy sources because not all countries are going to manage their energy transition in exactly the same way. Carbon capture utilization and storage, sometimes also called just carbon capture and storage, and the short form is CCS or CCUS. And what that is is it's when you burn a fossil fuel or a biomass, wood or um, agricultural waste, uh, you burn that material and uh, you get heat, which is used for energy, uh, but you also get carbon dioxide, CO2. CO2 is a greenhouse gas. So there's technologies, the carbon capture, that can capture that CO2 and then compress it and store it underground or sequester it underground. And so rather than emitting it into the atmosphere um, as a global uh, uh, greenhouse gas, uh, you capture it and you store it underground. And in that way, uh, fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gas, uh, can be burned and utilized with zero or near zero CO2 emission. If you burn coal and biomass and capture the CO2, and then you replant the biomass, whether it's a tree or an agricultural crop, uh, but if you replant that, then you can actually get to the point of a facility being net negative CO2 emissions. And uh, it's not a sleight of hand mathematics, it works. And that's the direction I think that we're heading, certainly in the US, but also globally, so that we can reach environmental goals uh, that various countries, uh, and in fact, many countries around the world want to have uh, greenhouse gas emissions reduction on a global basis. Um, one of the interesting aspects of all of this energy transition that I talked about earlier is that there's a big push towards renewable energy, wind, solar, geothermal. There's a big push towards nuclear energy because those forms of energy don't emit any greenhouse gases. But that also means that we would have to completely eliminate all fossil energy, coal, oil, and natural gas. And that transition is an enormous lift on a global basis. Perhaps we could do it in, in the U.S. here, but what if the rest of the world developing countries, China, India, Africa, um, South America, if they don't do it, then it really doesn't matter a lot if Europe and the U.S. and even Australia reduce their emissions. So we need to think about how we manage climate on a global basis. And managing climate on a global basis means you've got to develop the technologies across all energy sources because not all countries are going to manage their energy transition in exactly the same way.